welcome back to the channel, everybody. So this is a fun little video about one of the truly last funny people on YouTube, because we all know YouTube is a sinking ship and they give community guideline strikes to almost everyone about anything at this point. We are going to take a look at Mr. Salvo Pancakes himself, the last comedian on YouTube. And yes, I know Deaf Noodles claims to be a comedian, but come on, the dude isn't funny. He lied about his age because he's obviously 40, and he looks just frumpy. Now, I'm making this video to highlight everything Salvo has accomplished since returning, or at least since I've heard about him, which has been about a month or two. Now, if you're sensitive, this might not be a video for you, because Salvo is funny, and sensitive people tend to not enjoy comedy. <laughs> Alright, let's look at the Bradley Star situation. Keem's favorite little groupie. Now you can tell Keem loves Bradley because he constantly shows her off like every other 40 year old divorced man does after he buys a new car. We all know Keem is happy with Bradley. However, this could simply be a midlife crisis situation. We don't know, but Salvo wanted to find out and he couldn't just sit by watching Keem go through this anymore. So Salvo used all of his resources and news teams to prove that just cause you're skinny doesn't mean you're hot, which he, he proved with Bradley Star. He also took a deep dive into her mind and found out that Bradley probably grew up poor, which explains why she acts the way she does around Keem and in all of her Instagram photos. Now, an update to this story. We did find out that Bradley does have a little bit of a temper and can punch quite hard. All right, justice one. has been served. Alex Wasabi ain't got shit on me for one. She's got an injury. <laughs> Hit him! Oh, no more. He said you're ugly. Hit him again! Hit him again! Yeah. Violence! Ow. She's <laughs> oh, bony! She's bony! All right, next, next accomplishment. Papa Gut, one of Salvo's most interesting topics. Salvo's a good guy. He likes to care for the community. And when he heard about Papa Gut, he really looked into him, and we found out Papa Gut's an emotional wreck. His relationship isn't so good with his wife, and his health is a constant concern. And Salvo really took a deep dive into this situation to point out how bad Papa Gut has it right now. And he gave him pointers on how to do better, but that, that's not really that important and funny at this point because it's Papa Gut. So let's just move on. There was the flamingo situation, which I almost forgot about. And yeah, he's a pedophile. <laughs> let's move on to the conspiracy part of this now. So Salvo was terminated off of Twitter, not once, but three times. He's currently in Hayden and I can't expose on which Twitter account he's using. However, he is still fighting the good fight from his secret Discord server against Ethan Klein. Now, Ethan is an easy target. What can we say that hasn't already been said about him? His dick doesn't work. His relationship's in shambles. His wife looks like a horse. He's gotten so fat, he could be realistically a background character in the Wally -E movie. However, it's the fact that with his resources, Salvo has also proved that Teddy Fresh, a company that Ela Klein supposedly designs all of its products, has been proven to steal designs. Ooh, big conspiracy, right? Not. There's proof, huge proof for it. Now, this is big news because of this exposure, Salvo lost his Twitter account and is now in hiding because of this situation. Now, I am asking everyone who watches this video to unite under the pancake and form a united front against this tyranny on YouTube and point out all the horrible things H3H3 has done. And as a creator, it's our responsibility. So I ask you guys, do what Mama Max would do and pick a side. Who will you support? Will you support the dirty thieves that have control over the platform? Or will you join the resistance and fight for the future and for a better platform. Viva la revolution!